Well, uh, how you doing? It's me, Portland. Gerald in Portland, that is. Uh, wanted to talk a, a, a little bit about the things I'm feeling, I guess, while I take my meds. So maybe you all might come along. Good, good new hat. Like it. I do. I like hats. But anyway, I was just talking to some Christians, of course. They just cannot seem to bring themselves out of that book. I really have a lot of sympathy for some of these people who are born into it, who were dragged into the indoctrination, the indoctrination of the cult by their parents. Now, it's hard to get away from that for most. It wasn't for me because my parents weren't so strict. My dad, for instance, I think he was an atheist, he didn't really care. What bugs me is the rules that they have on the oppression of females and everything. They consider a covenant of a god or circumcision, for instance. Pedophilia. They're pedophiles, that's all there is to it. And, uh, you know, they sit around and say, I would make a covenant with God. Oh, I got a good idea. Let's cut off a piece of boy's penis. Yeah, there's something wrong with that picture. Yeah, this is a very mellow, laid-back uh, tape. So, uh, a couple other things, too. The new movie coming out, by the way. I mean the new money and putting on the face value as opposed to around the edge in God we trust and have e pluribus unum relegated to the side of the coins I think is so unconstitutionally unconscionable something needs to be done and Katrina they're doing nothing absolutely nothing about it They want to give General Motors, they want to give everybody all these billions to bail out. We supposedly own a bunch of General Motors. Well, uh, let me ask you one question about that. Listen closely, everybody. Let me ask one question about the fact that we supposedly own a piece of General Motors due to the fact that they gave us holdings in order to borrow money. Now, they say they paid it back. Now, did we have to give the uh, policies back or what? If not, we deserve some premiums. And if so, where are they? And that's something that would be taken care of rather quickly. We'd get our money right away. But take a guy like me, who's, you know, combat man. And, uh, Missing some fingers, which is why I don't type much. I don't have any legs. See? No legs. As you can see, I'm in a wheelchair. See this wheelchair? My wheelchair is hanging around. But it does wheelies. See? It does wheelies. Now, I have to live on $677 a month in my food stamps. And yet I'm able to do like this. I have a computer and a TV and I have a caregiver. Now I, have, I hear these guys out here with billions of dollars bitching about how they're uh, unable to make ends meet. You make me sick. I can make $30, $35 an hour working for the auto company. You want a raise to make more money. You make be sick. Then we come along, we have people that are, uh, <laughs> they're so intelligent that they don't want us to hurt ourselves. Of course they don't. Now, why would they want to do that? Since they don't want to hurt ourselves, they're going to outlaw things like alcohol. It didn't work. It didn't work. It just caused the gangsters. And the gangsters are here. Then they decided to outlaw marijuana. Okay, well, the gangsters are already here. <laughs> 
Okay. It was just that they were the easiest targets at first to start uh, smuggling in. But can I give you a clue about the Oregon, Washington, Colorado, uh, the weed around here? Yeah, we don't get weed from Mexico. <laughs> no. We call that rag. So if you want to find a Mexican marijuana war, you need to fight it down there because it's not coming up here. Heroin is another thing. Before the Taliban, you know, when the Taliban came, we were real short on heroin because the Taliban did not allow the war wars and little peasants to grow opium. They told them they had to grow staples, corn and shit, no more opium. Poppies, they eradicated. And what did the American soldiers do? Came along and, uh, of course, appeased the population by allowing them to grow what they please. Including poppies. Now we're flooded with a good brown note that makes you stink when you open the package. Makes you puke and stink somehow. And here you high and mighty DEA sit in your fat, expensive chairs really doing shit. Figuring out how you can make money off one dealer against another. You all make me sick too. If you just take marijuana, like alcohol and legalize it, you know there's going to be a lot of crime cut down. A lot of people are not going to go to to jail. A lot of people are going to be able to work because they haven't smoked a joint for a week. Yet, it shows up in their blood. That's so stupid. Come on. If you gave a guy a breathalyzer after a day of drinking and he gets to work, I guarantee he'd probably blow a half. <laughs> you fools. <coughs> anyway, those were a couple of those real simple things I had in my mind and I just don't understand how our government condones such junk, you know? They, they thought the prohibition of alcohol would be the answer and everything. But now they boycotted like crazy. So they decided to first vilify marijuana with the reefer madness and everything. Then they decided to uh, uh, make it a Schedule 1, which puts it in the place of heroin. Go figure. And it's done nothing but medicinal things for people. There's something wrong with this picture. So let's change it, shall we? What I would like to do, and I want <clears throat> to announce it right now, on uh, July 11th, I believe it is, at 11.18 a.m., that uh, before the winter, before fall gets out, like actually next spring, I'd like to start out on a trip in my wheelchair and travel from here in Portland with, uh, you know, with some backup, a van or something, all the way to Washington, D.C. and go to the steps of the memorial, the Lincoln Memorial, smoke some medical marijuana, invite everybody on the program from any state to come there and meet and listen to me and a few other guests of honor that I'm sure you'll enjoy. This is it. This is the shout out. Can we do it? Can you help me? I'm in a wheelchair. I'm going to need some support. What can you do for me? Okay? Thanks very much. All of this benefits the, the Freedom School. A school full of nothing but scientific rationality. Stop and pull start one. We need one here in America. A secular, I don't like using the word secular, but a yeah, atheist, <coughs> state sponsored curriculum or something. I mean, something besides sports and competition. We'll discuss it. Good night. I'm Gerald Reynolds, actually, Justin Hendley. <laughs>